Hi, welcome to Info Plus. Humanity is facing an uphill battle when it comes to preserving our planet, as climate change is making the humanity sick. The only weapon to rise over the later years is a green hydrogen, which can only be produced with renewable energy. Only steam is produced in this process and no pollution is generated. We must prevent global temperatures from rising by 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels in order to prevent some of the worst effects of climate change. Green hydrogen is one resource that might be useful. Let's learn more about this tool. Let's explore. Electrolysis is the method used to produce green hydrogen. Yeah. A machine called an electrolyzer uses an electric current to break down a chemical into its component parts. This substance is most frequently water, which is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen produced is referred to as green if the electricity used came from renewable resources like wind and solar. In the past few years, hydrogen, which had previously taken a backseat in the energy transition narrative in comparison to other options. It is also known as the future of energy for a reason. It goes without saying that one of the key objectives required to establish a carbon-reduced economy is to fully realize the potential of hydrogen as a fuel source. By assisting in the decarbonization of the metal, chemical, and long-distance transportation industries, hydrogen will help address important energy concerns. Also, by serving as a storage medium and offering long-term possibilities for using cheap renewable energy at a later time, hydrogen can enable renewable energy to have a greater impact. Because hydrogen is a flexible fuel that is simple to transport across vast distances, it can be used in numerous sectors. Applications for hydrogen include producing heat, fueling natural gas turbines, operating fuel cell vehicles, and many more. A further important opportunity to open up international markets for renewable energy projects is green ammonia manufacturing. After hydrogen is separated from water using the earlier mentioned electrolysis procedure, green ammonia is produced in a separate stage. The ammonia chemical is created when green hydrogen molecules and nitrogen atoms from the air around us are joined. Ammonia is a more effective carrier of the hydrogen molecule opening up new market prospects for green hydrogen. At the destination, ammonia can be cracked back into hydrogen and nitrogen molecules. The nitrogen can be safely released back into the atmosphere or kept and used for other purposes. If desired, the ammonia compound can also be used as a green feedstock to produce fertilizer for the agricultural sector, long-term energy storage for renewable electricity, transportation fuel for large-scale trucking operations, and marine shipping. Currently, lithium-ion batteries are used in electric vehicles, however, in the approaching decades, green hydrogen and ammonia will offer distinctive and renewable alternatives to keep improving transportation and storage which is necessary to achieve net-zero emissions. But, what distinguishes green ammonia from green hydrogen and what advantages does it offer? Ammonia. A substance made of nitrogen and hydrogen with the chemical formula NH3 is mostly used to make fertilizers. In addition, the future demand for fertilizers is anticipated to rise because of the rising global food demand. In fact, the effects of the harsh weather on crops can also be reduced by using fertilizers based on ammonia. Green ammonia cannot be limited to just that usage even if it might significantly aid in the decarbonization of agriculture through more environmentally friendly fertilizer manufacturing. Let us now see what's happening globally with this form of power. Targeting the European and Japanese export markets are Saudi Arabia and Australia, respectively. The goal of Europe's net zero carbon requirement is to eliminate the use of methane as a feedstock and a fuel for the production of electricity by 2030 and 2050 respectively. It is too early to estimate the size of ammonia's participation in the hypothetical future hydrogen supply chain, notwithstanding the surge in project announcements in 2020. The combination of advantageous regulatory frameworks, competitive project economics, and obvious pathways to downstream demand will win the race for financing. The issue is that green hydrogen is currently three times more expensive in the United States than natural gas. Additionally, the cost of electrolysis makes producing green hydrogen far more expensive than producing grey or blue hydrogen. 
the production of electrolyzers, the infrastructure for supplying electricity, the capacity of ports to produce and ship goods, and the speed at which industries could be retrofitted will all reach their limits. The majority of specialists believe it will take 10 years before green hydrogen is widely used. California will spend $230 million on hydrogen-related projects before 2023, and energy business SGH2 is developing the largest green hydrogen facility in the world in Lancaster, California. With this, we end today while hoping that this video engaged you. Before you leave, comment to tell us while subscribing to our channel and roll the key to hit the bell icon to get notified from us for the upcoming videos. See you all next time. Bye.